Hi everybody, it's Dina and I'm back with another video. binder pattern series that I'm doing. Um, this is pretty much that, just to recap for those of you who might not have seen the video that I explained it in, I have a purple binder that I printed pretty much all the patterns I had on my computer, not necessarily in Etsy or um, Ravelry, but I, I, I'm, I'm going to print them and add them to this and then we're just going to get them all done this year um, because what ends up happening for me anyway is I see a pattern, I love it, I put it in my binder or I just keep it on my computer. And then I do look at it and I go to do it and I'm like, oh no, that looks too complicated or, you know, whatever. I don't have the yarn or whatever reason and I don't do them and then they collect. Now I don't have that many, um, but I thought a good way was to add it as a series so it kills two birds. It motivates me to get the patterns done and to try them. And once I complete the pattern, I'm going to um, keep it in this binder that says patterns I have done. And then I just make, I just track it by saying the patterns and everything and then putting notes on if I made changes, what I thought of it, what yarn I used. And somebody made a good suggestion and said that I should take a picture and put it with it. So I'm going to do that as well. And then I can refer back. And sometimes you find patterns that are great go-to patterns or you do a pattern and you made changes to it that you loved otherwise you wouldn't have liked the pattern so at least I have this as a reference another thing is a lot of times if I do patterns I'm like oh I like it but if I do it again I would do this this different so by keeping the notes it, it should I'm hoping in theory it'll help especially if there's like a gift I need to make or um you know have to do it for something in particular Okay, so I was at my sister's dog sitting, so I could not pick it from the actual binder. So I went into, I think, Etsy, and I picked this hat to do last week. And it's a joke. It was funny because I didn't read it when I picked it. All this is is a single crochet in, in spiral. Like you don't join. That's it. And my husband likes hats like this. They're, I don't know if you call them skull caps or whatever. But so I did make... I ended up making two because it was so easy. And the yarn that I used for the first one, which is going to be my husband's, is um, it was it was the Premier um, Anti Pilling Bamboo Chunky. It's a uh, bulky five, and the color I used was mushroom. I really like this yarn. It's 80% acrylic and 20% rayon from bamboo. And it's very soft and it almost has like a little bit of a sheen, very little bit. It's very enjoyable to work with. Um, and this is my hat. I love the color mushroom. It is such a neutral, pretty color. And this is just single crochet and you could tell it's in the spiral. You see there? Um, and the only difference I did was I just did a row of slip stitches all the way the bottom when I ended and that's it. And I don't even know which way is the right way. Let's say I could go either way, I guess. I think the other way looks better though. This is way too big for me. My husband has a big head, so I made it to fit him. I mean, this is much, look, way, way too big for me. It actually fit my sister. She has a bigger head. But um, yeah, so it's really easy and cute. And there's something to be said about a simple pattern like this, just all single crochet, because you can like play with it with colors and stuff, I think. Um, I did make it in a different yarn also. It's this, I made it in a cotton yarn. Um, yarn Bee Feelin' Chunky in Dove Color. And this is 100% cotton. 
it's a size five as well. And um, I made this one smaller, probably like a, a like a, I'd say like an eight year old, this would fit. And I did the same thing, I did a slip stitch. So what I wanna do, um, I have a couple more of these in olive and navy. So I thought these three colors would look really pretty together. So I think I might do one and kind of play with the colors just to see, because it's such a simple pattern and it's really quick. I used a six and a half millimeter. I'm just gonna say her name. Alexa, pick a number from one to 20. Here's a number between one and 20, it's two. Oh, this is a fun one. God, I don't, I don't think I ever made this. It's called the Iris Cardigan. Very cool. Okay. Let me show it to you. I'm trying to see who it's from. Crochet Dreams with a Z. Um, and they used Lion Brand Mandala Baby Yarn in color Wishing Well. And that's a size three yarn. Um, they used a 4.25 millimeter hook for the cardigan and a 3.75 for the sleeve edging, edging and the collar. Um, now they have sizes from small to 3XL. Okay, they put it, let me just show you the pattern. So right here on the pattern where it says that sizes, that's where they tell you how many schemes. So for large, they use four skeins of Lion Brand Mandala if using one color. Um, if, using, if using one color yarn, you will need around 2,200 yards. So I don't think I have any mandala, but, and this is like a striping effect. Hmm. And let's see. I mean, it's a little stripey, but I have this. This is uh, cotton paintery cakes. It is it is a four though, but this isn't a super thick four. So I might use this. I mean, it shows it um, striping. And these are 60% um, cotton, 40% acrylic. You get 481 yards um, in, uh, in one cake. I have this too, it's so pretty. I have this Frost from Premier Sweet Roll, Frosty Sweet Roll. Oh, I've had this for a while. It's so soft, but definitely don't have enough of this. I wonder how it's... Um, but I have to keep in mind if it's thicker, you might not need as many yards. Yeah, I only have about 1470 yards of this because I have six. But this is a four. This is a little bit thicker of a four. I'll either pick this or this. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna make it work. Because that's what we do if we don't want to buy more yarn, right? We're gonna make it work. So stay tuned. This pattern will be made in either one of those. And then I could tell you all about it when I'm done. So I will link this Iris car Iris cardigan down below. Um, it looks like a very, very extensive, you know, detailed pattern, several pages. Um, I haven't really looked it over. So we'll see. There's lots of pictures with it. And diagrams and stuff so it looks like it's very very well written so i'm excited I, I like to see how different you know pattern designers write their patterns and which ones i tend to go to more so i will have this link down below and i guess that's it for this video um so when i finish this it's usually within one to two weeks that i finish the purple binder series um so that's what i'm planning on one to two weeks and then I will show you and you will see which yarn I ended up picking. If you make it or if you have made it in the past, please post a picture of your finished object on my Facebook group so I can show everybody um, 
you know, your work and everyone could see some more inspiration. Okay. Um, I hope you guys are doing great and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.